Ah, Guida, we've got no time to waste, dude. Dude, here we are in one hour, one life. This dimension involves being a baby, and uh, every minute of this, of the time in this dimension counts as one year. Where's my parent gone? Where's my parent gone? I'm starving. Um, I'm about to die. I'm about to die because I'm starving to death. My parent just ran off into the distance. Where have they gone? <laughs> For God's sake. Zero years. We lasted. We didn't even last a year. And we starved to death. How pathetic. What a terrible parent. All right, let's try this again. So basically, I can explain it a bit now to you, dude. Uh, how are you doing, by the way? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. You know, just enjoying being dead. Um, basically, every minute of time that goes by in this dimension is an hour, uh, not an hour, is a year. So basically, we have one hour to live a full life of 60 years. Um, we start off as a baby, and we've got a parent that needs to feed us and stuff like that and raise us up. So hopefully, by, you know, the, the, the 50th or the 40th minute, we, we become a parent, and we can, you know, look after a child of our own. So let's, uh, let's try this again. Hopefully this goes a little bit better. Let's get reborn. Let's, uh, let's go again. Uh, okay, here we go. Wow, my parent is decked out. Oh my gosh, I don't think we have any problem here. Look at this. Look at this, guys. It looks great. I'm just gonna follow, follow him around, because right now I can't really do much, so I'm just gonna follow my mama around. Uh, already though, we're doing a lot better. Look at this person. They are decked out. Wow, we've got the coolest mom in the world. Okay. I don't think we have, we have to do an awful lot here. We've just got to allow our parents to kind of do our thing. So obviously as a baby, we can't really uh, do all too much. All we can really do is, uh, you know, walk around and, and eat stuff and, and kind of uh, wander around like that. Uh, as you can see, we can only type one letter at one time. We can only speak uh, one word. So uh, we've got to make sure that we're keeping up with our mum. Where's she gone? There she is. We want to keep track of her because... Uh, we do not want to lose her. That's for sure. Okay. So we're, we're doing good. We're full up. Um, uh -oh. We need to keep making sure we're keeping track of her because if we lose her, we're going to starve. All right. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Mom? Where's she gone? She's disappeared. They've run off again. Um. Mom? Please come back. There she is. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I need, I need something to eat. Hey, come back. Don't forget about me. No! <laughs> Why? Oh, that mum was so cool, but she was too focused on herself. My gosh, I'd like to survive at least two years. That'd be lovely. So let's get reborn again. It's just an endless cycle, Guido, of being, uh, being born. Oh, look, we've got two mamas working together now. Let's say hi. Hi. Uh, okay. So home's over this way. All right. So we can know what's going on here. Oh my god, there's a little civilization here already. This is lovely. Uh, I'm not sure which uh, which mom is my mom. There's like I've got like three moms at once. I think it's this one. Oh god, I don't want to get lost. Uh, F. F. Ah, thank you. Thank you so much. See, F, F means food or feed. Uh, that's what I'm kind of trying to get across here. So, stay by fire. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, I will stay by fire. That is okay. I can do that. I can do that just fine. Sorry, I just wanted to wander around and enjoy stuff. So as you can see, I can't really do much stuff at this point. All I can do is stand around and be looked after, which is unfortunate, you know. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine by me. That's a-okay by me. I, I can... I could get into that, just being looked after. I, I'll, I'll take it at this point. Uh, that means we don't have to do much, does it, Guido? So that's fantastic. Um, so yeah. It's kind of cool. Hopefully one day we'll be able to have a child of our own. And, uh, F. Let's just say F. Just so we're, we're fed. Just so we keep getting fed. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so we should be growing little by little very soon. As you can see, we've got temperature at the bottom here, which is, uh, which is good to have. I like, I like the way we had to be chastised and told off and for running away from the fire. Okay. So, um, I should explain a little bit more about this dimension, Guido, just so everyone watching, all the adventurers watching, uh, are aware of what's going on. So basically, once you load into this dimension, once you start to spawn in, it's going to be under a random parent that's, you know, pregnant at the time. Obviously, beforehand, you have no idea who's pregnant and who's not. Uh, can we... 
There we go, I can say hi back. Obviously, we, we're not aware of who's pregnant and who's not at that time. So, um, it's a random, you know, you're going to be born to a random person. We, we will not be aware of uh, who's who we're going to be born to. Um, but those other people, every character in this game is another player. So, essentially, um, we have to be looked after by other players. And once those players get old enough... Oh, move a bit. Okay, I'm moving. I'm moving around, just so you know what's going on. Okay. Um, you know, just, uh, eventually, um, oh look, we've got a little strand of hair, we're getting older, a little bit. Um, so yeah, eventually once those characters die off, once those players die off, we'll have to replace them if we're looked after well enough, and we'll be able to give birth to a, a, another child of our, uh, our own. Um, so uh, yeah, that's great, that's great, isn't it, Guido? It's kind of, it's kind of beautiful in a way. The aim of this dimension is to rebuild society piece by piece, so, uh, that's cool. Um, as you can see, it's got this really, really nice aesthetic to it. You know, it's all lovely and crayon -y and it looks, it looks great. Oh, look at my hair. Hair. Need water. Okay. How, how, how can I help? How, how, can I help you or? You eat now. Okay. I eat now. You got it, Buster. Um, know how? Uh, nope. Do I just... Uh, I can pop stuff down. How do I eat there? Click yourself. Okay, got it. I can only say... <laughs> I can only say... He hate checks. Oh, we're being taught. That's amazing. We're being taught how to eat stuff. That's great. Okay. Remember. Okay. Remember to eat. Say thanks again. Thanks. Thanks, Mum. You're the best. Can I not uh you know <laughs> you drink more be uh, breast milk or am I or is that the end of that for me? We've got a flat rock here. Oh, we could make Oh, we could make something out of that, but I don't think that's uh what we're aiming to do just yet. I'll just drop those down. What's that there? A flint chip. Okay, I'm gonna eat. Just to make sure that I'm uh Oh, I need to eat that. I need to pull out a carrot. Apparently I can't there. Do I not get to take a carrot? There we go. I'll click myself. Brilliant. Okay, another baby! I've got another brother or sister here. That's amazing. Okay, I think what we can start to do now is look for our own stuff. Um, so let's see if we can find something that we can, like, uh, use to help out. There are some berries here, I believe. I can take the berries. Can I eat the berries? Oh, we can eat it just like that. Okay, that's good. Okay, so we find the berries by doing that. How do we find, like, carrots and stuff? What's that there? Is that a burr? A firebird drill. Interesting. So we've got a berry that we've got in our hand right now. Let's make sure we get back home just so we can see what's going on. And hopefully we can survive long enough to have a baby of our own. Uh, obviously it's going to be a bit bit tough, uh, you know, looking after a, a child of our own. Um, because, you know, we've got to feed not only ourselves but them as well. So that could be interesting. We've got some wheat there. How can I... Oh, I want to pick up that berry. There we go. How can I um help out there? I need to help out in some way. I guess we need to... Yeah, kind of re reach out and search for stuff. Is that a rabbit? A rabbit family hall. Did I just take the rabbit? What did I just pick up? A snare? What? Not really sure what's going on at this point. We just can see a bunch of rabbits. Okay, oh, I need to eat again. What's that? A wheat seed head. Can I eat that? No, I need to find more berries. Unless they've planted more carrots, then I could grab some carrots. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, it looks like everything has pretty much been... Exhausted though at this point, so we need some need some berries. We're gonna have to look into the forest a bit. Uh-uh. Um uh, uh we need something to eat as fast as possible. All the berries have been eaten. Oh, please let there be a carrot somewhere. Or I'm gonna starve. Uh uh Oh carrots! I need one of those. Oh, six years. That's still good though. Alright, let's go again. Okay. I know we can do this. Once we reach adulthood, that'll be fantastic, but it's kind of tough at this point. Again, okay, back to square one, Guida. You know, we're back being a little round chubby boy, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, so I can say, hi. At this point, I can just kind of wander around. Hey, get off my head. What's going on here? <laughs> what is that? Have they just put like a nest on my head or is that my hair? Um, wow, I look, I look fantastic. Okay, so uh, I, it seems that our problem so far is that we, um, we're struggling to uh, kind of um, 
get enough uh, resources and stuff like that. Um, and, and we're struggling to kind of figure out how to craft stuff, so uh, I better say I'm, I need food. There we go. Now I could say, thank you. There we go. That's okay, you can put me down now. I'm an independent baby, I don't need holding. Come on, drop me down there. It looks like we've got some food there. So yes, yeah, so what we need to figure out is how we can, uh, once we reach a certain age, how we can um, find our own food and plant it ourselves and grow it ourselves. So that way, we've got a constant supply and uh, we won't be uh, in too bad of a shape. Is that my hair or is it a hat? It's a rabbit fur hat. I guess that makes us one of the tribe now. Um, okay, so this person is just uh, feeding away. Whoa, Oh, well, this person's decked out. Okay, I'm just going to stay near my mom. I don't want to, don't want to get too, uh, too lost here. Um, want to make sure that I'm being, yep, I'm being fed quite a bit, which is fantastic. You know, this, it's not so hard being a baby. It's, it's much, it's going to be much harder, I presume, once we become an adult. Um, wow. Uh, so Guido, this is what human life is like once we start out. I know you robots are like, you know, you start off. Um, really, you know, high tech, you know, really smart and stuff like that. But this is what it's like to be a baby as a human. Um, we rely on drinking breast milk and uh, eating carrots, essentially. Uh, I know you robots don't have to deal with that sort of stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's what it's like. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Pri primitive. Dude, oh God. You have no respect. For anyone's culture, DA, we go to all these places all over the multiverse and everywhere. All you have to do is just insult everyone. It's just in your blood, isn't it? Um, I guess that what well, that's what happens once you're a, an emotionless robot, eh? I'm kidding, dude. Come on, let's not argue. We've got uh, we got stuff to do here, okay? Um, so can I feed? Or okay, I'm I'm still young enough to be breastfed, which is good. Uh, when can I start to uh be to help out? Maybe now? Maybe I can, I can, like, start to help out now? I'm not sure. Once we know how to pick up a carrot, then we'll be sure. Um, oh, I need to be, I need to be fed at one point. I don't think I can pick anything up at this point yet. Because we've been picked up again, which is fine. Oh, God! Ah, oh, fresh grave! Jeez, that baby just got murdered. Oh, was that a... Oh no, I think that was a- Oh no! The babies have to fend for themselves! <laughs> oh jeez, I think one of the moms just died. Oh! That baby just died! Okay, I need to be fed. Uh... Okay, yeah, feed that one, feed that one, then feed me, please. No! Me! Me, 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 me! Please! Yes! Thank you! Okay. Um, right, I need to start helping out a bit, I think. I think I'm at the edge where I can start helping out just a little bit at this point. So we've got what? Bowl of mashed carrot? Oh! I need to eat. Uh, uh. Can I start to pick stuff up? Help! Mom! Eat carrot! Okay, you got it. Uh, put me down, put me down. Thank you. Why can't I pick them up? I'm trying to pick them up. I can't, I can't pick them up! I guess I'm not, I'm not, I guess I'm not old enough to pick things up. One more try. One more shot of greatness here. And I'm an adult at this point. Oh my gosh. Okay. So how can I, how can, how, how do I do stuff? What, what do I do? Oh god. All right. Please, I don't want a baby at this point. No. No, 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 no. I can't be dealing with a baby right now. There we go. I've, so I've got to pick up the baby. Make sure they're all right. Can I just hold them for a bit? Um okay, let's let's bring them somewhere nice. Uh, oh, looks like all these plants have been shredded over here. I guess if I got the baby like picked up, then we should be good, right? I'll put the baby down. A bear cave. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, I need the, I need the child, don't I? I can't forget it. I can't leave it outside of a bear cave, can I? And hurt for the best. Okay, it looks like someone's died here recently. It feels like we're in the middle of nowhere there. Okay, we've got some berries. I need to eat the berry. I need to put the child down. No, nope, put the child down. Eat the berry for myself. Because the, uh, the baby can, uh, have breast milk, okay? It doesn't need, oh, look! Hey, isn't this a similar place to where we were last time? Okay, this is good. This is good. You know, the baby has a nice place to grow up here, which is fantastic. Okay, I need to pick up a carrot, eat it for myself. Hopefully, the baby will tell me when it needs feeding. Uh, that's why I'm herping. So, if I just keep myself alive, okay, I, I should work on, like, making some, um, making some armor or something, a U-shaft. What can I make with it there? Okay, so we can make a stone hatchet. See, that might be useful. Is this baby all right? Okay, is it, is it being fed there? 
I imagine it's been been fed at that point <laughs> once you pick it up. I'm gonna go ahead and presume that. Uh, I can make a steel axe, but we need some uh, kindling, it seems. Hmm. I'm gonna put down this stick that I've got in my hand. I'm not really sure yet what's uh, what's going on. I, I imagine once we uh, come back to this dimension more and more, we'd, uh, we will become more aware of what's uh, what's hippity hoppity happening. So uh, let's just, oh God, we don't wanna lose the baby. Baby, stay there, just stay there. Um, okay. Uh, oh no, oh gosh, another baby needs feeding. There you go, there you go. Okay, two babies, two babies to my, Stop crying. Stop being stop being such a little silly boy. Okay, let's put it down for a second. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna eat this berry for myself because I'm selfish. Uh, I imagine this. Yep. There you go. Put you down. I imagine this one's starving. Put you down. If I just feed on them every so often. So you've got a nice little civilization here. Empty fertile soil pit. Okay. It's hard. The crafting. That's the that's the part of this dimension I'm not quite getting yet is the crafting. Hopefully once we play it more, as I said, we'll become more and more aware. Luckily, we've found somewhere with a lot of a uh, lot of stuff. Okay. Um. Right. Hopefully. Oh, one of them just logged out. Oh gosh. Okay. I need this one. Uh. I need to put down the thing. Pick up the baby. There we go. Oh. Okay. And and I need to manage myself. I need to watch myself as well. I can't get so caught up in uh, what's going on here. Okay, pop it down. I need the... Hey, he's got some hair now, so he can do his own thing, right? I believe he can start eating his own stuff. Okay, do I need to... There we go. So it looks like we can only put down stuff once we've got a tile for ourselves. Um, eat carrots. There we go. Well done, child. Oh, uh, my gosh. <laughs> I have to, you know, positive reinforcement and all that. But at this point, that also means we've got uh, two mouths to feed. Which is unfortunate. Um, because it's going to be a bit hard to uh, manage that. So can I... Bear hand plus maple tree equals leaf. Okay, steel axe plus maple tree equals chop tree with firewood. Ah, so how do we make a steel axe? There must be something we could do. Can I pick this up? What can I do with this? Rope. Yeah, hatchet, steel axe. What? What is? What is need? Did? Uh. Uh. Just. Uh. Keep an eye on your. Your hunger. For now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, this this child thinks I'm like looking after them, you know, making sure they're okay and stuff like that. I think what I need is some clothes, you know. You know, this child thinks you know I'm some sort of super lady that knows what's going on, but honestly, um, I I don't know what what, what what's happening. I oh, I need to put this child down. I don't need to pick them up. I am going to look for uh for food. Stay there. Stay there, child. Okay, I will be back. I'm not gonna just leave you. Okay, flat rock. What can we make with a flat rock? Uh, we don't need tongs. Um, gosh. Okay, hopefully there's enough carrots and stuff there for the for the child. I'm just gonna keep... Just gonna check to see if I can, like, uh, find some stuff. Flint. I don't think we need flint chips. Soil deposit. Okay, we've kind of left our child. Okay, I need to be back. I need to come back so we're not being, uh, not leaving a bunch of stuff. Look, it looks like we can make a home marker. Now, that could be useful. So, let's see. What was it? Like, uh, okay, God. Okay, let's get back to the, oh, we gave birth to a child. Unfortunately, child, I need to be back at my base. I'm just going to leave that one for now. Oh, it's following me. Um, right. Oh, I need to eat as well. Okay, let me put that down. Oh, need to pick up that baby. There we go. God, now we've got two children at once. This is not good. Okay. Oh, I need to eat. I need to keep an eye on my, my own hunger. Okay, where did I put that stern? Oh, I need to find it. Where did I put it? There it is. Okay. Sir, how do we make a herm marker? That could be useful to... Useful to make. Oh, oh. 
Gosh. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I really did honestly try there. Okay, a herm marker. A skewer is what we need. There's a featherless arrow. Um, a stone hatchet. Yes. So I've picked that up. Sticks. Wet clear plate. Herm marker. Oh, we've already got one? Okay. I thought I was being helpful there. Okay, let's use this. Oh, I am not going to be able to feed myself because I think the child has eaten all the carrots. Although we do have a bunch more. So you should be doing okay. No, nope, put the axe down. There we go. There we go, got a carrot. How are you doing? Let's just see how the uh, how the child is doing. Make sure he's okay. Oh, another baby. Another one. Okay. Luckily, we have quite a few carrots here. I'm just not sure how to replant them again. I guess we've got to find the carrot seeds um, and, and stuff like that. Oh, God. How much does this baby need picking up? For God's sake. Um, okay. Charcoal. We could make a fire probably, right? Small charcoal pile. Crucible with charcoal. Big charcoal pile. God, there's so much stuff to make. Okay, I'll feed you. I'll feed you. Just give me a second. Come here. Um, a cooked carrot pie. See, all these things are, are stuff that we should probably look into making. Okay, let's see how the other child's doing. This, this bab needs to stay close. I'm going to pop this down because I don't want to, you know... Don't want to get too confused of all the items I have. This child looks like he's doing okay, though. He's grown to a good age, so I think once we eventually leave this world, Guida, um, you know, we should have left this place in good stead. I'm going to feed this thing. Oh, we're running out of carrots there. Uh-uh. Okay, luckily, <laughs> I'm literally... I need to plant more. I need to make sure that the future generations that come here are going to be okay. Um, kindling. But how, where do I find, like, carrot seeds from? I'm going to pick this, this dude up for now. Um, I, you know, oh, a duck. Go a, a goose pond. Okay. Can I? Yes. Wait, I need, I need that goose. I got a goose feather. What? Okay, I'm going to pick up the child again. It's nice to have a goose feather there. Um, okay. Um, oh, I need to eat. Okay. Do we have any carrots? Put, put down the child. Child, go away. No. Ah, oh, 23 years, though. We did okay. All right, we are going to leave it there for today, Guida. Did you enjoy our adventure today? Yeah, it was It was interesting. Um, You know, we we lived many lives, and I I, I think we, uh, we left our mark on our world by uh, basically eating all the carrots. So future generations, I'm not sure how well they're going to survive, but at least we didn't die too quickly. You know, we lived until we were 23. That's a nice average length uh, life. We got three teenage years, stuff like that. We survived teenage pregnancy, so that's good. Um, anyway, guys, I think we gave birth to like three children there. One died, one definitely died. Uh, anyway, guys, we are going to leave it there for today. If you enjoyed this episode of Checkpoint, you enjoyed the adventure today, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Uh, but for now, this is me, Steve. That's been Guida. This has been One Hour, One Life. If you want to see us come back to this dimension, please let us know with a comment, and we'll see you in the next episode. Of checkpoint. This will be Steve. That's be Guido. This will be one hour one live checkpoint complete.